Well, good morning, folks. It's another beautiful Saturday morning here in southern Ontario, Canada. The birds are singing. <laughs> and what's kind of bizarre for the beginning of fall is so with the cicadas. The forecast today is for mid to upper 20s. The sky is brilliant blue. It was a beautiful sunrise. Just an absolutely fabulous day. Well, it's that time of year when I get to do one of my favorite jobs. I'm going to start filling the woodshed today. And before I started, I thought I'd share about a couple of tractors here. This is my friend's Farmall Super A. And this is our Massey Harris 22 that originally belonged to my father-in-law. What's unique about both these tractors, they have a common bond. Even though one's a Farmall and one's a Massey, they're not from this farm, but they were restored at our local Christian high school. One of the shop classes at our school over a number of years took both these tractors that had long ago finished their working days and were parked. This one was actually sitting outside. It was in really tough shape and so was that tractor. That tractor had cleaned a freestall barn for 35 years so you can imagine kind of the shape it was in. Well the students did a bare block engine overhaul here, put pistons, liners, rings, rods, mains, a valve job, same thing in that engine, rebuilt the electrics. We converted that one to 12 volts but it still has the original generator and starter. This one we left at 6 volts. As you can see, they uh, stripped them down, stripped down the transmissions, final drives, repaired the steering boxes. Both of them needed a steering box rebuild. They were severely worn. And uh, did all the cosmetics and painted them, and voila, this is what we have. I think they did a marvelous job, actually. Well, my friend Henry is going to come and pick his tractor up today, and it's going to go home to a, it's going to go to a really good home down in Prince Edward County, and I doubt it's going to clean any more freestall barns, but it might cultivate the garden, and it might plow the garden every year. And old Betsy here, little Susie, what Susie for us does is pulls the trailer around, and we fill the woodshed with it, and uh, I'll pull the trailer a little bit and do the odd job around the farm, but she's kind of a treat for me. Well, daylight's a burning, so I guess I better get something done. made a couple of videos of me knocking down this tree. It hung over the drive shed, the coverall building, and over the chicken shed, so I had to take it down in pieces. Well, it's all cut and split, and it's in a pile right there. And it's going to be the first couple of loads that we put in the woodshed this year. Now, if you look where my jackknife is here, that represents 1960 in the life of this tree. So, 59 years ago, I was born. And that's how much that tree, or how little that tree, grew in 59 years. And when I count the annual rings in towards the center here, all my best guess is it's 125, 130 years old, or even more. Because the heart's totally decayed. I really can't count the rings there, but I tried to be conservative in my guess. It's interesting to think on this farm how things changed in the 125 years. First World War hadn't happened yet, Second World War, why the west of Canada, it was hardly settled at that point. It's interesting. I love thinking about history and the generations that grew up on this farm and just like our kids were raised on this farm. Well, I better start throwing that wood pile on the trailer if I want to get something accomplished today.
Well, folks, it's been a great day. We said goodbye to our farm all day. We had a good visit with the gentleman that owns her. Got a dandy load of firewood on. I'll get this from the woodshed here. And that will be a Saturday well spent. Well, I look forward to that load plus another probably three and a half or four. We'll fill our woodshed and service for the winter. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again on Out of the House with Paul.